What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Joe 84 and today I got a very interesting topic for you guys. Now the biggest question right now since like we're like a month away from the beta of Black Ops 3, is it worth it? Is it worth pre-ordering Black Ops 3? Now the pre-order is five bucks. So yeah, it's really not that much like compared to 65 bucks to like play the whole game. So in my six years experience in Call of Duty again, you know, because I already talked about this in the past. I don't know how many videos, but I would, like, I would like to talk about it again. You know, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 really, really needed a beta. Because Modern Warfare 3, I'm telling you, it still had connection issues to this day. It still hasn't been fixed. The spawn system is super bad that we can easily get spawn trapped like in a matter of a minute and a half. Or maybe less. I think in like another minute you can actually easily get spawn trapped. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of spawn problems in Modern Warfare 3. Black Ops 2, there was a big connection issue on the day one because let me tell you this i got banned from black ops 2 on day number two i know unbelievable a lot of people i know for sure some of you guys are gonna be like how the fuck did you get banned you know did you cheat did you hack no the thing that happened was that um every time we'll get kicked out it will count towards my um the amount of times i leave a match so they actually try to penalize you for leaving a match at halfway and what happened was when I was playing a match, I would have connection problems and I would get kicked out even though my connection is wired. So I should be able to have a strong connection, but I will get kicked out. So the game saw it as a back out. So, I mean, you can only back out like a total amount of 12 times, I believe. And you should be, you should be banned like for the next, you know, 24 hours. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I got banned for 24 hours on the second day of Black Ops 2. Super dumb, I'm swear to god. It wasn't my fault. It was the fucking game's fault for not having steady servers. So yeah, that was a huge problem with Black Ops 2. So in the past they should have done this. Seriously. And a lot of people a lot, a lot of lives would have been saved, you know, because a lot of people wouldn't have wasted 65 bucks. But um you know, Black Ops 3, it's a really, really needful beta because you know it's futuristic and i heard a lot of rumors that it's the same kind of mechanics of the previous cod so yeah it is a requirement now that call of duty needs betas in the future because if they're going to be pulling out bullshit no i mean a lot of people are going to start leaving so they're trying to attract the crowd by doing this pre-ordering beta stuff but uh i think it might work this year because let me tell you the games have been crap lately so is it worth your five bucks to pre-order Black Ops 3? Yeah. You know, coming from a guy that goes like 100% on classic modern combat, I recommend to get the beta before the game because it's only five bucks. Everybody just donate five bucks to that fucking bad game, but at least you got to test the game. You get to test it before you buy it. So, you know, that's good. That's good. At least we, we like know what to expect in the future. So, um, yeah, it is worth your five bucks. Unless they tell you it's more than that. Because I know in my GameStop, they told me it is five bucks to pre order Black Ops 3, and then they gave you the code. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Unless it was like 65 bucks just to pre order the whole thing. I'm like, fuck no, man. So, um, and, and then after the beta, I'm pretty sure you can change your five bucks to another game. So, you're really just testing out the water. So, it's like downloading the demo. Except for Metal Gear. That was really. Really unnecessary with Middle Gear Ground Zeroes. Like seriously, you're gonna make us spend 65 bucks for an hour test of Middle Gear, the full game that's coming out this November. So, um, I mean, not November, September. That game's gonna be awesome, by the way. And another game that's off awesome was uh, Fallout 4. I can't wait to get that game. So sorry to get to get sidetracked, but you know, I'm already done with the topic. I told you guys it is worth it. I'm telling you, my subscribers right now, it is worth to spend your five bucks. I mean, how hard is it to get five bucks? All you need to do is just clean the house and you get five bucks out of it, right? That's to you, young subscribers, you know. To the older people, I mean, you got a job, so you don't have, you know, an excuse not to waste five bucks unless you're saving for those five bucks, for like for a snack at work or something like I do. So that is kind of excusable. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So that is it guys, I don't want to talk about it. and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the background gameplay that I have for you guys. Um, and also by the way, I'm, I would like to announce that I will be opening a fourth YouTube channel that will contain only my gameplays but no commentary over it. So at least I will have a backup for my gameplays because you know, I got 160 videos got taken down and I need 
to keep my videos safe sometimes because I know my 80 and 0 gameplay from Black Ops 2 went down but the good thing is I have that gameplay saved on theater mode on Black Ops 2 which I can re I can re uh, record so yeah I really need a backup channels all the time because I'm not sure why people get pissed off at me for no reason Maybe because of my opinions. I mean, everybody has their own opinion. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. If you guys want to hear more about Black Ops 3.